The Arnolfini portrait, speculated to depict Giovanni Arnolfini and his wife, is one of Jan van Eyck's most famous works. It exemplifies van Eyck's contribution of naturalism and iconic symbolism to the Northern Renaissance, as well as demonstrates his extraordinary mastery of the medium of oil painting. For Jan, nature embodied God, and thus he filled his paintings with the religious symbols disguised as everyday objects. Even the light that so naturally illuminates his landscapes and interiors is a metaphor for the divine. In the painting, one can see a beautiful golden chandelier, and if indeed has speculated that this is a memorial portrait, the lit candle atop represents the living man in presence of God, while the burnt out stub to the right is a metaphor for the Arnolfini's deceased wife. Each person and object has its prescribed place and is adorned as befits the sacred occasion to draw mystery and curiosity to its depiction. The oranges to the left, for instance, have been said to represent the innocence before Adam and Eve's expulsion from the Garden of Eden. Clearly, the portrait reveals his talent to paint intricate fabric, flesh, fur, metal, and all of which in a believable space. As one might observe, the paintings of Jan van Eyck have a weighted formality that banishes movement and action. Due to the refinement of his technique and symbolic programs, he is one of the most talented painters of this movement, being best known for his highly realistic figure painting. His hallmark three-quarter pose of face together, along with his mastery of oils, both of which clearly illustrated in Van Eyck's portrait of a man in a red turban, brought a startling new realism to portraiture and made him one of the foremost painters of the Renaissance. Eyck could aim for sharply focused clarity of detail in the representation of any object, whether obtrusive and large or nearly invisible. No small detail escaped the painter. He was able to reveal even the beauty of the most insignificant object. This kind of meticulous attention to recording the exact surface appearance of humans, animals, and landscape is unparalleled, leaving no secret as to why he was the first Netherlandish painter to achieve international fame, the position of court painter to Philip the Good, Duke of Burgundy, and the title of Renaissance Genius.